What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Lazy.3 here with a brand new Nickelodeon Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutations Mix and Match Goldfin by Playmates Toys. Um, this is a really cool figure, seeing Goldfin for the first time in figure form. Well, this is the only time we're really going to get him. Um, it's interesting, because like, just, he was like the main antagonist for the second half of the season. Um, he comes with Genghis Frog's leg, which is really small and short. I don't know how that's going to work, because like even here they don't show it fully attached. So I don't know how that's going to work. Comes with, I assume, Leo's arm with no painted wristband or painted um, metal buck back there. Um, and of course, he comes with the last anemone in this in like little set. So I don't know if he comes with a weapon. I don't see one. Um, let's check this figure open and see what we got. Okay, so here we have Goldfin out of the packaging, and boy, do I have some things to say. Okay, first off the bat, I'm not really liking this figure so far because he his head is very wobbly like look how small that peg is and because it's a mix and match figure it has to connect to the others but also look how massive his head is also let's you know, let's, let's let's take a look at the head he has some very detailed eyes i like that a lot and he's got this cool little like hat he has and his little fins on top that's really nice uh he's got this really like because of how detailed the eyes are he looks really crazy it looks almost like that one scene where he fights the turtles in the finale i don't know if i've uploaded that yet hopefully i have um, but, like, the thing is, is when you plug it onto the head, it's so unproportional. It just, like, kind of... And it, it, it could fall off. I don't like how loose that is. That's just... No. And, um... The... The jacket also just pegs in, like, same as the other ones. He's wearing overalls and a little turtleneck, I assume. That's... It's something, but... And then his arms are super short. Same with his legs. They're all really short. And that kind of fun falls into this look at Genghis Frog's leg at that point I wouldn't why would you you couldn't have picked I would have wanted to mix and match Ray Filet that would have been cool since no one could find normal Ray Filet for a while you know give us another version of him why not I mean though you just released him in the same wave technically um yeah this I don't think this works because like look you you're to put it like a lopsided guy I don't know what, where they were going with this was there no other figure this was the only other figure they probably could have done this but then they should have just done, should not have done this in the first place. Um, this is a very like almost not too painted figure. I mean, you got the the turtleneck, um, his eyes, his fin, and I think the hat might be molded. Yeah, it's molded. And then the hat, the hands and feet are painted. So I don't know. <laughs> first impressions aren't going so good. And then you get to the arm, which isn't painted to accommodate for how big this thing is. Same with this anemone. Also, this might be my favorite enemy. It's a three, like, mix and match thing. Because, like, look. The legs come off. But, so that's something. But also, sort of the torso and head. Which is really interesting compared to the other ones. Which were just, um, two. Like, just, just only the head comes off. But, um, with this, I do have all three anemones now. So that's really cool to have. This one is the tallest and might be my favorite. I love the color palette for this one. I like this one, how he's short and stubby, but I also like just the general look of this one. So it's cool to have all three. I like it. I'm going to put definitely put them on the sh on the shelf. That'll be there. But Goldfin himself, he's just such a lackluster figure. I don't know where to go with this. Because he's just so bad. And then when you stand him next to the rest of the East River 3, here we have Mustang Sally. Um, I can stand. Look how big Goldfin is. He is not this big in the sh TV show. He is like this big. You can't, you can't make, like, a micro figure of something, like, something else. That way I can just have this for me. Because this is too big. And then, okay, he just falls over. And then look at Lee. I don't even compare him. Yeah, Lee's the, uh, Mustang's the tallest, even though Lee's the tallest in the show. And then Goldfin is almost, yeah, he's catching up to Lee, like, very closely. And it's kind of sickening. But, um, I just don't like this figure. You also don't get an accessory for him. He just comes with the... The, um, the anemone, he comes, doesn't come with a weapon. I would have preferred if he came with, like, a chain for when he fought the turtles in the finale. That would have been really good if he wouldn't fall over. Um, so, would I say get this figure? If you're a completionist like me, sure, but would I recommend just getting this figure for fun? No, this is not that good. It's very loose. I might stuff some cotton in here and make it stiffer. I don't, I don't know. But with that being said, I'm Mr. Lisa Boy. I hope you guys like this review. I hope I can give you guys a better... Review next time. Um, I love you guys. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.